Okay, the first step in measuring your replacement coil for your condensing unit would be to measure the outside fin. You first want to get your fin height. You want to make sure you get your tape measure in the very top of the fins. And then you're going to come down, measure it here, go down in there. That's 29 and a half inches. That's how tall this is. Your next step is you're going to want to get your fin length, which is from that, in, this end all the way around to the other end. Uh, what I like to do on bent coils, stick it right here in the fins. You're going to pull it out to where it starts to bend, flush there. So we're going to call that 15 and a half inches right there. The next, you're going to go to this side, measure from the middle of here to middle of there. We got about 40 and a half inches. And again, these measurements are, are to make sure that this fits inside this per, the parameters that uh, the actual unit has. And then lastly, stick it in the fins here, out to here, 28 inches. So now we have our fin height and our fin length. Those are just two aspects that we're going to need to quote the coil. Next is fins per inch. Uh, you're going to want to find a good, good clean space. This coil's pretty beat up. It's been combed out before. Uh, but on this side, it's actually clean. Not much damage over here. So you can do one of two things. You can take your tape measure, put it up here, and you can count each fin per inch within the inch. This looks to be about 16 fins per inch. Or another tool that we have way you can do it is use this tool we have here. You just place it up to the coil itself and it lines up with each fin. See 16 fins per inch. Once we've got those parameters or those measurements, once we have those measurements we'll be able to move on to the next thing which would be the circuiting. That basically means how many tubes high it is, or how many rows deep it is, and how each tube is circuited. So this is the top tube. You want to start with this and move down. Also at this time, you would, you would want to get the tube diameter which means the diameter of the tubes going in and out of the coil. This, for instance, is a 3 8 Most condensing units are 3 8 inch tubing. 